Well, we'll soon know why the Hard Rock collapsed back in October after the federal government releases its report. What we don't know is when the building will come down. But thanks to a new lawsuit, we are getting a behind the scenes look at those delays and a growing dispute between the owner of the project and the company that was expected to implode the building. Danny Monteverdi has a look at the new allegations being launched and what this means for the timeline to take down the Hard Rock. Downtown New Orleans is a ghost town right now, and it's a perfect time, the city says, to implode the Hard Rock Hotel. But in a new court filing, the developer says they feel like they're being forced into an implosion that they can't properly ensure. 1031 Canal Development makes the claims in this response to a federal lawsuit from D.H. Griffin. That company wants to back out of an agreement it had with the Hard Rock's owner to dynamite the partially collapsed tower to finally bring it down. Griffin was supposed to get a $50 million insurance policy, but it claims it could only get a $22 million policy. You might have significant property damage to the Sanger, New Orleans Athletic Club, many historic buildings that are in the area. At the heart of this dispute is a series of promises made and broken by Griffin, lawyers for 1031 Canal Development Right. They go on to claim that the city continues to erect obstacle after obstacle to 1031 Canal's plans to proceed. And Griffin is believed to have played a central role in orchestrating these delays. 1031 Canal has now signed a contract with Cobb Grading in hopes of tearing down the hard rock piece by piece instead of imploding it. Eyewitness News legal analyst Chick Foray says there's little agreement about anything except for the fact this lawsuit will delay any work at the site. So now nothing happens. So the city is caught in the middle of this. The city doesn't care who the contractor is. The city is tired of plants and wants it down. But what we want to make sure is it's done safely. Foray says there's always one way to make things happen. Oftentimes, when you get into litigation and construction issues and demolition, money solves all problems. There's no money to fix this problem. One that many people hope will be resolved soon. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. And it's replied to the lawsuit 1331 Canal claims it could demolish the Hard Rock in about 180 days. It also claims that would allow crews to better remove the remains of the workers still buried in the rubble.